again, we are back in Burbank for another section hike on the PCT. So welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're waiting on a ride to get us to the trailhead. And then uh, we've got a first stop in a, in a town to pick up some gas and some other supplies. And then we'll head over to the uh, trailhead. So I'm here with Jim. Jim's on the phone right now. And we're waiting on our Uber ride to take us over to the uh, to the Walmart so we can pick up some supplies. But we are doing another section hike, and the section hike is going to take us from mile 566 to mile 702. We're going to stop at Kennedy Meadows, um, and then we'll try to you know make a decision there whether we want to continue on to Mount Whitney at that point. But we'll see how it goes. Um, by the time we reach Kennedy Meadows, we should be right around 140 miles. So uh, we're going to be pretty tired by then. So I'm not sure about Mount Whitney at all. Anyway, once we get on the trailhead, I will pick it up later and um, show you what it looks like out there on the trail. Any words, Jim? Nope. <clears throat> we're ready to go. Yeah. Let's get the show on the road. It's going to be an epic trip. Hey guys, I am back, and uh, so is Jim. We finally made it to the trailhead, and so for tracking purposes, it is September 17th, Saturday, 2022, and we are starting this section hike at mile post 565, and we're gonna go about five miles to 570 to a campground, and then call it a day, because We've been traveling all day today. Hey, Jim. Hey. Hey, everybody. So, getting we'll, ready to go. We'll get our tent set up, get some dinner, and start a longer hike tomorrow. But we are back on the PCT, doing another section hike. And this one is going to be starting the Sierras. So, at this point, we start climbing up to the Sierras, little by little. And um, should be a lot of fun. Take a lot of pictures and videos along the way. So stay tuned. We'll talk later. Hey, everybody. Well, we got to the trailhead, like I mentioned uh, earlier, when we reached the trailhead, of course. And then we started climbing up, I think, what, like 2,000 feet? About 2,000 feet. And we decided to set up camp here at this one campsite. I'll flip the camera around so you can see our campsite here. This is uh, Jim's z pack tent. It's being blown in the wind. Yeah, we're going to get some pretty good gusts tonight. And there's mine way over there, the orange tents. Right there. So it's getting a little chilly. I got my jacket on. I'll flip the camera back. Got my jacket on, it's getting a little chilly, and we're gonna be having dinner. I'm having beef stroganoff noodles. Yum. With a little bit of crushed red pepper. Hello. <laughs> right? So, what are you having, Jim? Chicken curry. Chicken curry. Man, I love chicken curry. Uh, Not trading. It's, it's good stuff. Uh, there's another one, like, I forget what it's called. Masala? Something like that. Yeah. Chicken masala. Yeah, that's good. It's really good stuff. But anyway, so we stopped at mile uh, 571 on the PCT, mile post 571. And um, we have enough water for tonight and tomorrow morning. And then we're going to hike about 12 miles to our next water source and we'll pick up more water and then. From there, I think every like 10 to 15 miles after that, there's like another water source, so we should be fine. Um, it's going to be a little windy for the next couple of days, so we're going to be dealing with this wind. But uh, crushed red pepper. <laughs> so, yeah, real nice campsite here. Very, you know, there's some spots that are very well protected from the wind, but. It's at the top of a mountain, 
and I'll show you where we're at. By the way, there is a um, airplane graveyard not too far from here. I'll flip the camera around so you can see this graveyard. So we're on the top of this mountain. You can see way down there. Um, looking for it. It is right over there. I don't know if you can see my finger, but it's right there. That's the uh, airplane graveyard. You can see some planes there. Um, it's like a museum. You can go there and look at the um, the old aircraft that have been retired, and they just park them there for um, people to go and see. But look at these windmills. There's so many of them. There's hundreds and hundreds of windmills. Massive windmill farm. So um, here's my tent site again. And the way we're situated is our tent sites are like in line with each other. The other one's over there. And um, what people, what, what hikers are, or should do, I should say should, should do, is when uh, they're camping like this, um, they should be putting up their food, uh, food bags and their garbage bags somewhere like about 100 feet someplace high up in the tree. We're going to put it up in that one big um, Joshua tree up there. And uh, the garbage bag as well. And we're going to eat over here. So you, you typically don't want to eat right next to where you're camping. But uh, there's no big uh, prevalence of bears here. I think somebody had mentioned that they might have seen a, a cougar. But there was no confirmation on that. So we should be good with just hanging up our food in that one section and should be safe, you know. Here's our garbage bag. I'll be hanging that up back over there at that one Joshua tree. Anyway, I will sign off for now and uh, have my dinner. Then I'm going to hit the sack because I've had a long day of just traveling. We both have. All right, folks. I will pick it up in the morning another 12 miles on the PCT. Okay, good night. guys so I'm back we started off this morning uh, maybe about an hour ago and we're already into the hike about a mile and a half but I just wanted to take video of this section of the trail Jim's climbing there I don't know if you can make out the uh, the trail beyond him he's there but if you can make out there's a line way up there that's where we're going. We're going to go all the way around this guy. We're just going to loop around. But this, just to give you some perspective where he's at, that's pretty high up. So I got to go catch up with him. And we're actually going to go way over there. You could just about make out the trail right up there. Okay, time for me to hit it. Hey guys. Well, I made it to the top of that one little summit that I was pointing to earlier in my last video. But if you can make out that little tree. Let me zoom in on it because I can barely see it. The two trees right there. That's where I stopped to take a video of Jim going up this hill. And I'm on top of the, the hill behind it. So just to give you a perspective of how high we are, I believe that is 
uh, well, I forget what the mountain that is, but we are just about level with that mountain. And that is the town of Mojave down there. Anyway, continuing. By the way, I forgot to mention that today is September, uh, September 18th, and it's Sunday, 2022, just for, uh, for my purpose of keeping track of the dates. And so, again, we got more climbing, but not terrible. And you could probably make a gym up ahead in the blue shirt over there. Beautiful, beautiful canyon. Okay, continuing. We'll pick it up hey later. everybody. Okay, a quick video update. We uh, summited these little hills, well, the mountain that we were climbing, and then we're gonna be going over these little hills there. So, but this is north of Tehachapi, California, and we're heading in that direction there. We're heading north on the PCT, and we're going to be encountering all these uh, these mountains. They're not huge. They're not like uh, 10,000 footers. They're more like around 6,000, but still, we're, that's what we're going to be encountering. Just a quick update on what it looks like facing north on the PCT, north of Tehachapi. I don't know if you can make out Jim, but he's way up there. He got way ahead of me because I'm taking video. Okay, we'll talk later. And I'm back. All right, so we are about 4.1 miles into today's hike. And again, we're going 12 miles to a water source called Golden Oak Spring. And so far, we summited that, that mountain and now we're kind of riding the ridge and it's an alpine area around here. So many uh, pine trees are kind of out of the out of the desert. So there's not that many Joshua trees up here. Um, but it's still semi-arid. Semi but it's nice because we can smell pine. We have shade. Bonus. And by the way, this video is being brought to you by Jim, because Jim, AKA Bars, because I left my charging cable for my phone at home and he happened to have one that was compatible. So thank you, Jim. Saved our trip, saved our memories. Uh, so I'll flip the camera around so you can see Mr. Jim. See how wooded it is in here? It's like a nice pine area, nice forested area, lots of shade. And of course we have some blowdowns. Oh, always gotta have blowdown. Trees are blow down, blown down by wind. Anyway, last night I was talking about how we put away our food, hang up our food, and uh, in our garbage. We uh, do that away from where we're camping. Um, you eat away from where your tent is and you hang up your food. So that's what I was talking about last night. Anyway, I will end it here for now and pick it up later. All right.